Good morning, everybody. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord. Thank the Lord for His mercy and His grace. This morning, we thank Him for, amen, you, this morning, who are here. We come this morning with gladness in our heart. We come with thanksgiving. Praises upon our lips because the Lord has brought us through another week. This is a journey and we thank him for that and we praise him. So this morning as we get started this morning brothers and sisters let us always look to the Lord because he is first. Amen. We look to him. He is our source and we know we ought to look to we need to look to our source where our help come from. And we know all our help come from the Lord. So will you pray with me? And then we will continue. Our God and our Father, again, is all of us calling on your name at this hour. Because there is no other name that is given to us whereby man shall be saved. And Lord, we want to thank you for all your blessings that you shower down upon us this week. We thank you for carrying us and bringing us every day that you allow us to go. And this morning, as we gather here, God, we come with praises on our lips. We come with thanksgiving in our hearts. Thanking you for God, mercy, and grace. We thank you, God, because you brought us out this morning and Lord it was nobody but you and we want to thank you for doing that for us this morning Lord we ask that you will forgive us this morning of our sins blot out all our iniquity and Lord we ask that you create in us clean hearts clean minds help us to know that God in times like these we need thee Oh, we need thee, God, every hour, every second. Now, Lord, we ask that you will have your way in this service today. We pray that, God, you will lift us up and encourage us to keep on keeping on because we know there's a bright side somewhere. Oh, God, we ask you to have your way, Lord. Have your way because, Lord, we know your way is the right way. And so, Lord, help us. Help us to reach out to you. And God, we know if we reach out to you, you'll reach back to us. And so we just want to tell you, we thank you. We thank you for what you have done and what you will do for us. We pray for all of those who are gathered this, here this morning. We pray for those, oh God, could not be here. We know you know who they are. And God, we pray, oh God, that something will be said, oh God, here this morning that will God... Bless us and help us, oh God, to stay on the straight and narrow path. Now, God, as we go forth in this service this morning, Lord, we just ask you, God, to let us lift up our voices as we, Lord, give you the praise, the glory, and the honor. We ask all this in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I've got a 
got a ring. I've got a ring. I can clap my hands. I've got a ring. I can lift my voice. Anybody know what I mean? Anybody know what I mean? If you got a ring, you wanna help me now? Tell everybody. Let the church say amen. You and I have a right, amen, to praise the Lord, amen, and that's what we hear, to praise the Lord and to lift him up, worship him in spirit and, and truth. We thank God because he gave us that right, and I'm glad, my sisters and brothers, that he gave us that right, and we don't have no reason to be ashamed. Because, amen, he said, if you be ashamed to own me before men, I'll be ashamed to own you before my father. So you and I got a right. Hallelujah. I say you, you and I got a right this morning. Amen. Someone ought to, ought to thank God and say, thank you, God, you gave me a right. Amen to praise you this morning. Amen. Because you did so much. Amen for me this week that, Lord, I, I just can't hold my peace. And I want to let somebody know, amen, I got a right this morning to wave my hand. I got a right this morning to open my mouth. I got a right this morning to shout it out and say, Lord, hallelujah. I never would have made it if it had not been for you. I got a right this morning. Amen this morning to praise, amen, the almighty God because he is good. Amen. And he's good all the time. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Let me read this Galatians, the fifth chapter. Amen. The verse 22 to 25 and first Thessalonians verse chapter four, verse one through seven. And it reads, but the fruit of the spirit is love, joy, peace, long-suffering, gentleness, goodness, amen, and faith, meekness, meekness, temperance, against such there is no law. And they that are Christ's have crucified the flesh with the affection and lust. If we live in the spirit, let us also walk in the spirit. Furthermore, then we beseech you, brethren, and exalt you by the Lord Jesus, that as ye have received of us how ye ought to walk and to please God, so ye would abound more and more. For ye know what commandments we gave you by the Lord Jesus. For this is the will of God, even your sanctification, that ye should abstain from fornication, that every one of you should know how to possess his vessel in sanctification and honor, not in the lust of conspicuous, amen, even as the Gentiles which know not God, 
that no man go beyond and defraud his brother in any manner, because that the Lord is the avenging of all such. As we also have forewarned you and testify, for God have not called us unto uncleanness, but unto holiness. Amen. The word of God. For the people of God. Say God, for God have not called us unto uncleanness, cleanliness, but unto holiness. Amen. Holiness. To be like Jesus. Amen. We gotta what? We gotta we gotta hold up the banner for the Lord. To be like Jesus, my brothers and sisters. Sometimes you gotta, amen, go alone in this world. But then you're not going alone by yourself, but the Lord promised to be with us every step of the way. But sometimes, my brothers and sisters, when we are walking, we feel like we are, nobody knows what we are up against. But let me tell you this morning, the Lord knows, amen, our spirits, and he knows us better than we know ourselves. And this morning, amen, we thank God because when we, hear the word of the Lord and we hide his word in our hearts. My brothers and sisters, he's going to speak to us and he's going to talk to us along the way. Yes, he will talk with us and he will remind us that we belong to him and he belong to us. So we thank God for his word this morning. Let us hide his word within our hearts that we may not sin against him. Let us continue to worship God together, amen, in holiness, because he is a holy God. And when we know that we know that we know, we are walking, amen, by faith. We are holding up the banner for the Lord. My brothers and sisters, we can run on and see what the ends will be like. May God bless his word. And Sanctify the truth within our heart. Amen. At this time, we have our next selection. See you. 
me tonight. I sing and shout. He's a bell. Anybody know he's a shelter? Amen. He is a shelter. Amen. We thank God for him being our shelter. This morning, we got a God that will shelter us. Amen. In the time, amen, of a storm. This morning, my brothers and sisters, we thank God because we can call on him anytime. And he promised us that he would, amen, hear and answer us. And so this morning, we thank God because he made it possible for you and you and I to be here this morning. So we come to give God some praises. Amen. We come to give God some praises. Let me tell you, God have been good to us this week. Uh, he brought us. He brought us through some stuff. And... We ought to tell him thank you, amen, because there's nobody like him. This morning, my brothers and sisters, I want us to know that we serve a God that is real, a God that is able to take us from earth to glory. Anybody believe that? Amen, that he will take you from earth to glory. And I thank God because this man, he's a good man. And I come to tell you this morning, amen, he knows all about our situation. This morning, I want to call your attention to the gospel of Matthew, the eighth chapter. Uh, I want to, that Matthew, the eighth chapter. Uh, and then I want to look at. Verses 23 to 27. Amen. Matthew, the 8th chapter. Amen. Verses 23. Amen. Through 27. Amen. Verse 23 reads, And when he was entered into a ship, his disciples followed him. And behold, there arose a great tempest in the sea, insomuch that the ship was covered with the waves, but he was asleep. And his disciples came to him and awoke him, saying, Lord, save us, we perish. And he said unto them, Why are ye fearful, O ye of little faith? Then he arose and rebuked the wind. And the sea, and there was a great calm. But the men marveled, saying, What manner of man is this, that even the wind and the sea obey him? Amen. Amen. This morning, I want to talk about the man who can calm your storm. The man who can calm your storms. Amen. My sisters and brothers, I used to hear my dad sing this in the church. That song, Do You Know the Man from Galilee? And I used to hear him singing it a lot around. Sometimes he'd be out in the field riding on the tractor and sometimes i hear him start humming and start singing that, do you know the man from Galilee? Uh, I want to ask you this morning, do you know the man uh, who can calm your storm? Amen. Who can calm, I say, your storms. And let me tell you, every one of us will have storms. We will go through storms. My brothers and sisters, you don't believe it, just look, 
Look at New York up there. Look up there. They, uh, amen. They, they having some rough weather up there. Storms and the winds start blowing. And amen. The trees start leaning. And amen. People get nervous and they don't know what to do. Amen. They start, amen, packing up and amen, moving out of the storm way. Thank God for, amen, the weather man and weather women who, amen, now can, amen, predict where the storm is, amen, headed towards. And I looked at it this morning and we see the rain. My brothers and sisters up in New York, we got families up there. My wife family and, and her, her nieces and nephews up there. And I, we got other people, families up there. And oh, I'm praying for them. I'm glad, my brothers and sisters, to know this man this morning who can calm your storm. I don't know about you, but I, I'm glad to know him for myself. And when you know that you know him for yourself, hallelujah, my brothers and sisters, you don't have to fret. You don't have to worry because he got everything under control. Am I right about it? Yes, 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 yes. Sometimes God allows stones to come in our lives, amen, to shake us and to remind us who is in charge. Sometimes we think man is in charge. We are in charge. But let me tell you, we ain't in charge of nothing. <laughs> nothing. <laughs> Amen. I just want to say that you ain't in charge of nothing. Amen. But a lot of times we think we are in charge. Hallelujah. Amen. As I looked at the television, I saw, listened at the news, men and women, as they were predicting and as they were telling how close it's going to come. Amen to, amen to South Carolina, amen along the coast, amen. Now they were predicting, but let me tell you, that's all they can do, predict. But God is the one who, who, who guides the storm. God is the one, amen, who tells the storm to move away, amen. Don't, don't go to South Carolina, but I want you to go on up the coast, uh, Hallelujah. Anybody know what I'm talking about? When you know that you know that you are born again, when your hands are in the master hand, my brothers and sisters, storms may come, and amen. When storms come, you can tell the Lord, Lord, take me through. Uh, I believe you can take me through. <laughs> Hallelujah. Now, he wants us to listen now. He don't want us to, amen. Amen. Do things on our own, but he wants to listen. Listen. Listen to our authorities. Amen. He gave them the knowledge and the know-how, the technology to, 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 to know, to warn people, amen, to get out before all danger come. My brothers and sisters, but we can't forget God. We've got to remember to put God first. Amen. That God is in charge of the stone. Uh, he, he, he got all power. Somebody say in his hand. And I come to tell you this morning, if you will trust him, if you will rely on him and, and know that he knows what he's talking about, my brothers and sisters, we'll be all right. But so many times we put our confidence in the wrong things, in the wrong persons. But I stop to tell you this morning, my brothers and sisters, it's nothing too hard for our Savior, Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. Yes, we are praying for our families. We are praying for the people along the coast. Amen. Praying for them. Amen. That it will be well with them. Amen. And so, my brothers and sisters, it reminds you and I, my brothers and sisters, that if we will hold on to the Word of God, God will see us through our storms. And let me tell you, yes, we all going to have storms that comes in our life. But we got to know who is in control, I say. We got to know that, amen, that God, he is God. And besides him, there is none other. 
Do I have a witness? See here in this text this morning, we have, we see Jesus, how he showed his authority, my brothers and sisters, over a leopard. Amen. A servant. And over all other disease. We have noticed that Jesus can heal with simply a word. Do I have a witness? I say just a simple word. We have also seen that Jesus have authority over what? His disciples. And called them and you and I to follow him. Am I right about it? Jesus said, I want you to follow me. Don't follow man. Don't follow the new man. But follow me. Amen. Jesus said, I, I, I know which way it's going. Amen. Because I'm in control. Of, I can tell it which way to go. Amen. Amen. But this morning, we, we, we got to know, my brothers and sisters, that Jesus is still in control. Let us follow him. Let us seek after him. Because he knows, amen, what the outcome going to be. As we see this scene, and I told you, amen, a few Sundays ago that when I was in Israel, I had the opportunity, we to go and cross the Sea of Galilee. And my brothers and sisters, what an experience that was. Hallelujah. And I say, if you ever get a chance to go to Israel, I tell you, it'll be a blessing for you. To see where Jesus, amen, went. And what he did. And when you read it in the word, in the scripture, it makes sense. That when you got Jesus on board, hallelujah, storms may come up. But let me tell you, as long as you got Jesus aboard, everything is going to be all right. And as we got in that boat and we started crossing over the Sea of Galilee, my brothers and sisters, the winds picked up. And hallelujah, start blowing and got dark. My brothers and sisters, the wind is howling, but it reminds me that we had Jesus on board. And when you got Jesus on board, everything will be all right. <laughs> He'll take you to the other side. <laughs> Hallelujah. But before you get to the other side, sometimes, sometimes I say God has to take us through some things in order to prove who he is. Uh, he don't have to prove it, but sometimes he takes us through the things and remind us that I, I, I made everything you see. Amen. I, I put the water out there. <laughs> I put the trees out there. I put the mountains out there. And the Sea of Galilee, my brothers and sisters, the boat started kind of rocking and rolling, but we made it to the other side. I said, oh, thank you, Jesus. When I got off the boat, I said, hallelujah. We crossed over the Sea of Galilee. <laughs> My brothers and sisters, but I'm reminded this, this morning <laughs> that when you're having some storms in your life, uh, amen, you ought to check yourself uh, if you don't know the man from Galilee. Uh, as my daddy used to sing it, uh, yeah, I know this man. Uh, if you're not acquainted with him this morning, uh, today is a good day. <laughs> Amen to connect with him. Uh, say, Jesus, I'm lost uh, in this storm. Uh, I don't know where I'm going. Uh, I don't know where to turn to. Uh, but I'm here to tell you this morning, uh, if you would just say, Lord, uh, have mercy on me. Uh, I'm a sinner this morning. Uh, Lord, I need you uh, in my life. Uh, and I promise you, uh, if you believe that, <laughs> in your heart and, and confess it with your mouth uh, God will uh, I say he'll show up uh, and he'll show out uh, do I have a witness this morning that's all he want us to do uh, is humble ourselves uh, and confess that he is uh, the way the truth and the light uh, do I have a witness uh, I'm glad this morning uh, my brothers and sisters uh, when Jesus uh, Enter that ship. Uh, amen. Uh, his disciples uh, follow him. Uh, let me tell you, uh, it's good to follow the Lord. Uh, yes, he will. Uh, he'll take you uh, 
all the way uh, from earth to glory. Uh, do I have any witness? Uh, I'm glad this morning uh, when he entered into that ship. Uh, hallelujah. Uh, the disciples, uh, hallelujah, they made up in their mind. Uh, we're going to follow, uh, follow uh, this man. Uh, and behold, uh, the scriptures say, uh, when they uh, began to follow him, uh, behold, uh, there arose uh, a great tempest in the sea, uh, insomuch uh, that the ship was covered uh, with waves. Uh, hallelujah. Uh, but, uh, somebody say, but, uh, he was, uh, he was asleep. Uh, how can a man uh, sleep in a time uh, like that? Uh, but let me tell you, uh, there is uh, a secret to it. Uh, hallelujah. Uh, if you know the man, uh, if you really know him, uh, hallelujah, uh, you don't have to worry uh, because you know uh, that you've got faith. Uh, let me tell you, faith uh, come by hearing uh, and hearing the word of God. Uh, and when you hear the word of God, uh, God will, uh, he'll do uh, for you what you can't do for yourself. Uh, am I right about it? Uh, the scriptures say that. Behold, there arose a great tempest in the sea. Hallelujah. Tell me, the sea got angry. Amen. The waves start. Hallelujah. Piling up. And the disciples, hallelujah, they looked around to see where he was. He was back there in the back of the boat of the ship. And the Bible said he was sleeping. He was laying back sleeping. Hallelujah. And I can imagine the disciples, they started saying to themselves, how can a person sleep in the time like this? But I come to tell you this morning. Uh, you and I can do it uh, because uh, because of Jesus. Uh, because Jesus uh, Mary's baby uh, he got all power uh, in his hand. Uh, the Bible says he will destroy uh, yet will he defend you. Uh, let me tell you, uh, you can sleep in peace. Uh, do I have a witness? Uh, somebody told me uh, the other morning uh, says pull down rain last night. Uh, did you hear all the shaking? Uh, amen. And the trees going. Uh, but I told him I ain't heard a thing. Uh, hallelujah. Why? Because uh, I know I was safe uh, in the arms of God. Uh, do you know this morning uh, that Jesus uh, is your doctor? Uh, Jesus uh, is your pilot. Uh, he is uh, your leader. Uh, all you gotta do uh, is follow him. Uh, yeah. I want somebody to know this morning uh, trouble don't last always. Uh, somebody say weeping uh, in due for night. Uh, but joy, uh, I say joy uh, will come in the morning. Uh, hallelujah. Uh, you got to walk with him. Uh, somebody say you got to talk with him. Uh, hallelujah. Talk to him uh, like you're talking to him. A natural man. He is a natural man. He will hear your cry. He will hear your plead. Anybody know that when you call on him, he will answer. Hey, hey, this morning. I thank God this morning to know this man from Galilee who walked out on the water. And the Bible says, he got up and he said, he said to the disciples, why are you so frightened and fearful? But all he did is say, peace, be still, hallelujah. That's all you got to say. Use the word, 
use that tool, use the word of God when the storms start uh, piling up, uh, when the winds start howling uh, and the winds start blowing. Uh, just say, be still. Uh, hallelujah. Won't God do it? Uh, I say, won't he do it? Uh, yeah. I don't know about you, but I done tried him. I tried him this week uh, and he worked for me uh, when uh, the storm uh, start coming uh, my way. Let me tell you what I did. Uh, the Bible told me, uh, go in your secret closet, uh, shut the door uh, behind you uh, and begin to call on him. Uh, anybody know when you call on him, uh, he'll hear you cry. Yeah. Uh, Hallelujah. I say, God, I thank you because, God, you promised me. You promised me you would hear. You would help me. Oh, to bear my cross. And I thank the Lord. He'll help your church. All you got to do is praise him and thank him and say, God, where would I be if it had not been for you. Oh, I thank the Lord because he got out the boat and the boys begin to look at him. They say, how in the world can he walk on water? Hey, hey, hey. But I'm here to tell you, my God, my God, he can do the impossible. Am I right about it? He'll take you to the other side. All you got to do Keep your eyes focus on him. Hey, hey, church. Don't look at what others are doing. But look, look to the hills from which cometh your help. All of your help come from the Lord. Yay. Yeah, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. The man that come the rage of sea. He calmed that storm that day and he's still calming storms today. I don't know what storm you're in right now, but let me tell you, hold on. Hold on to the word. Hold on to the truth because the truth will set you free. My sisters and brothers, amen. Hold on to the word of God. God will take you to the other side. And let me tell you, when you get to the other side, hallelujah, you can look back and say, God, you was with us. You were with me every step, every step of the way. And I just want to thank you. That's why I look sometimes at people. They never get moved. They are not moved by nothing. But I come to tell you, if God ever did something for you, it'll move you. You can't sit there and be still. Somebody say fire will burn you. It's like fire shut up in my bones. Hey, it'll burn me. Hallelujah. And I just thank God because this man, amen, his name is Jesus. That's what his name is. His name is Jesus. He is the author and the finish of our faith. Uh, hey, God is not through with us yet. Uh, amen. He didn't bring us this far to leave us, church. Uh, I know we've been out here my long time, but don't get weary <laughs> because God is going to bring us in. <laughs> Hallelujah. At the right time. So don't get impatient, uh, but wait on the Lord. Uh, be of good courage, uh, and he'll strengthen your, ha your heart. So don't drop out don't drop out. Let us keep meeting together. Why? Because somebody has been in a storm. Somebody's going through a storm now in their life. And I want to tell you, we can tell them how, how to survive the storm. And that is to give God your life. And He'll take you through the storm. Hallelujah. I'm glad this morning, hallelujah, that I had that chance to cross the Sea of Galilee, which was 13 miles long and about 7 miles wide. 
my brothers and sisters, and the Bible say it was a hundred and some fifty feet deep, and the shoreline is was six hundred and eighty feet below sea level, and it was surrounded by mountains. Hallelujah! And that's true. It mountain. It go. The Sea of Galilee is surrounded by mountains. It's not a big sea, but something happened, and Jesus was out there. And I said, if Jesus rode it, you and I can ride it. We can ride out. You know that, that, that him say, ride out the storm? Anybody know about riding out the storm? You may be in it now, but you can ride it out <laughs> if you got Jesus on board. The scriptures say, I can do what? All things. Through who? Christ Jesus. Who what? Strengthen me. He strengthened you. And God want to strengthen you today. And so many are giving up. Too soon. They don't see how they're going to do it. But let me tell you, you, you got to walk by faith. You got to have some faith. Where is your faith? You say you believe, trust God. You got to believe and trust him all the way. Not part of the way, but all the way. Hallelujah. Yeah. Trust in the Lord. Lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge him. And he will direct your path. Let me tell you, those disciples, yeah, they were shaking. They were shaking. And when Jesus spoke to the water, the storm, it calmed down. They had to obey him because he was in control, my brothers and sisters. A lot of times we think, man, just because he got all the wisdom and technology, the know-how, how to go to the moon and come back and how to put persons up there, come back. Let me tell you, that's, that's just a speck to the Lord. He made this world. <laughs> Amen. They, 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 just, they just touch a little, little tiny piece. But our God is a great God. Isn't he great? How great is our God. Sing with me. How great is our God. He's a great God, isn't he? Yes, he is a great God. How great is our God. Sing it, sing it, church. Find, find that, find that and play it. Because we need to know how great God is in the time of crisis. When you are faced with storms, you know, sometimes you go to the hospital. You spend everything, penny you got on doctors. Amen. And you say, Lord, this is a storm I'm in. How I'm going to make it? Hallelujah. Life will throw you curveballs. Life is not fair. Let, let me tell you. But God say, I'm with you every step of the way. Every turn you and I make, God is already there. He said, all I want you to do is acknowledge me. Realize who is, who is in control. I am. The good shepherd. And the good shepherd will lay down his life for you. He laid down his life for us. And God loved those boys, but he taught them a lesson. And sometimes we need to be taught a lesson. It's not about me, and it's not about you. But you got to put your faith and confidence in God. And, and, and know that no matter what come our way, this too will pass. This, this storm too will pass. Hallelujah. Yeah, there, there's all kinds of storm, physical storm, my brothers and sisters. Sometimes you lose everything. You say, I ain't got no money. I ain't got no, no, no health, good health. But God, I'm trusting you. Because you told me in your word, they that wait upon the Lord are renew their strength. Yes, yes, he'll renew your strength. My brothers and sisters, so when you're going through storms in your life, stand still. Just stand still and listen to the voice of God. Yes, he'll talk with you. <laughs> Amen. If you're reading this word, 
you reading this word, you taking it with you and reading it, and just not picking it up on one, one day out the week, Sunday, but you got to pick this up during Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, because you're going to have some storms on the way. And, and, and when you don't know how to handle that storm, it'll blow you up. It'll blow you away. But let me tell you, you got to read this word and believe it. And then you got to hide it in your heart. God, I believe your word. And I'm going to stand on your word. Because you told me you are the way, the truth, and the light. My brothers and sisters, he'll take you through it. The disciples were amazed. They thought they thought he, he was crazy by going back in the back of the ship and laying down and going to sleep in the time of a storm. And sometimes people act the same way. Man, how can you sleep in a time like this? It's lightning and thunder and the rain and the trees are blowing and everything. Houses seem like it's lifting up. How can you have confidence in times of crisis? You can have it because you have the word. The word of God. You hide it on the inside. Not on the outside, but on the inside. And somebody said, just a little talk with Jesus will make everything all right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I know you got psalms. And I know you don't want to talk about them. But it's good to talk with them. Amen. That's why we're here. My brothers and sisters, we are supposed to help one another. Amen. Through the storm. I, your storm may not be mine. Your storm may not be Deacon Ison's on. Your storm may not be Deacon Green's on. But let me tell you, you got a storm. You're going to have storms in this world. But you got to know how to handle them when they come your way. Amen. Hallelujah. I can go on and on, but my brothers and sisters, I want you to know that this man that I say my father sung about, this man can calm your storms. Yes, all he got to do is say, be still. Hallelujah. But sometimes he allows storms to come our way to test us. See what we're going to do, who we're going to lean on. Let me tell you. It's good to have friends and loved ones. But you got to know that you know that you know that you got a relationship with the man up above. Hallelujah. I know sometimes you go on your job. Storms. Storms. How do I handle storms? How do you handle your storms that come to you every day? Every day we're going to have them, but we got to know there is a word from the Lord how to handle our storm. God bless you this morning. But I don't say nothing else, and my brothers and sisters. I pray that God's word. You will hide his word in your heart that you may not sin against him. Remember what he did for you when you had your crisis. Remember that he lifted you up and he told you to run on and see what the end will be like. I want you to know that he meant that. He wants you to tell somebody some boy woman man or girl son a man or woman tell them that storms don't last always and they don't last forever they will pass they will come to pass but you got to know this man that is on board this morning if you know him as your lord and savior you can stand in these evil days. Because the Lord promised. I would never leave you. Nor forsake you. So when you get out. By yourself. 
and you don't know how you're going to make it back, call it. Call him up. You got his number. Call him up. Amen. And he will hear your plead. Will you bow your heads with me as we pray? Father, thank you this morning for hearing your word. Thank you for allowing us to see that God, there's nothing too hard for you to do for any of us when storms show up in our lives. Thank you. Thank you for being the God that you are. God, when we give up on you, you don't give up on us. And we want to thank you and praise you too for not giving up on us. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for riding with us. Thank you for taking care of us. Thank you for supplying and meeting all our needs. Now, Lord, we pray, oh God, that you will build us up where we are leaning. Strengthen us where we are weak. And remind us, dear Lord, that you is a God that is everywhere. You are out on the waters. You are in the air. You are all around us. And we just thank you. We pray this morning that your word will touch hearts all across this area. And remind people. No matter what you got, how much you got, storms can take it away from us. But Lord, help us to know that we got you on our sides. And when the storms start raging and the seas get angry, help us. To do as you did. And say peace be still. And now Lord. Thank you. For bringing us together one more time. And now Lord we pray. For those who are unsaved. Who never surrendered their lives to you. Help them to realize. Today is the day of salvation. If they don't know you, God, they can know you right now. If they just humble themselves and say, Lord, I'm a sinner. I'm a wretch undone. Save me. I believe that you are the Son of God. I believe that you are God. And you came. And you sent your Son, Jesus, in the flesh. To remind us that trouble don't last always. Now, Lord, speak to their hearts. Remind them and let them know that time is winding up. Remind them that the storms are, keep coming. And if we are not anchored in the Lord, we will surely drift away. Thank you, now, Lord. May your word do what you have sent it out to do. And God, when we have done what you have access to do. We want to hear you say, well done, good and faithful servant. We ask this in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Let the church say, amen. Go in peace, my brothers and sisters. May God bless you till we meet again.